What's up guys, today I saw this design on Uplabs and uh, I like the this heart rate typing indicator. So the design called uh, Medical Bot Interactions, which makes sense because it's like a medical bot. And I want to implement it with animated vector drawables. So I've done some similar stuff before and uh, in my introduction to animated vector drawables and uh, which you can find in the description but i think it's pretty cool and uh, and maybe this this screen i'm gonna implement later so first what you need is to find this uh, vector svg vector and it's pretty easy to find out the internet here is uh, what i've found which looks uh, pretty similar, right? And now to implement that animation, you can basically just animate two attributes, a trim path end and trim path start. So trim path end determines uh, when to end drawing this vector. For example, the value goes from zero to one and uh, 0 0.5 is the middle. So only this uh, path of the vector is gonna be drawn. And trim path start is uh, vice versa, determines uh, which part to start drawing vector. So value 0.5 is gonna draw this path of the which is exactly what you see here it's those two values animated uh, one after another and i'm gonna use shapeshifter tool for uh, implementing animated draw vector drawables which is just a nice uh, ui to see our animations and uh, without the need of compiling and installing under android to see them in action I'm just going to import them here. And I can change the height to the 100 dps and now it's pretty centered. That's what I want. And uh, basically, yeah, let's just add those animations. Played, and nothing is uh, going on so the reason is because uh, most of the vectors are not what they seem to be for example this seems like a line right I mean the line uh, fragments but in reality if you look at the path data it has some curves lines curves that's because most of the vectors are created in uh, visual editors and uh, when exported, there is uh, an algorithm running to translate a vector to SVG commands. And uh, pretty common, those commands are not what you would uh, logically create, which is uh, just for line segments, right? That's why our animation doesn't work, and I basically need to create another version of this vector implemented in a different way with the just lines and luckily it's pretty it's a pretty simple vector so I'm just gonna overlay my new ve vector on top of this one I don't need this it's gonna have a just a stroke And this one I'm gonna change to gray. Right, and the good thing about this uh, editor is that you see coordinates here, which I'm gonna use uh, absolute coordinates to for my SVG commands for path data. I'm gonna set stroke width to four, and let's get started. Uh, let's compare 
almost same what's missing is a uh, rounded uh, rounded join let's see now just one path missing now here it's on 45 30 and the end now it should end maybe at 95 yeah, and I'd say it's quite identical. Now let's delete our original path, we don't need that, and just implement animations. Now I know that my animation is gonna last for one second, and I'm gonna add those trim path end. It's gonna last for 500 milliseconds. And then trim, then trim path start after it for the same amount of time. I'm gonna set it to decelerate value from zero to one. Let's try it one more time. And yeah, it looks uh, pretty similar, right? I think the length, uh, the I think the duration is uh, quite the same, about one second. And uh, now what you want to do is uh, export it to animated vector drawable and copy it to a project. I've got a project set up here, just an empty stuff. And here's my newly created uh, AVD. I'm gonna copy it here. And the best thing here is that everything is in one file. Your uh, actual vector and object animators. I used to extract uh, it to different files, but actually it looks much cleaner in one file. I like it more. Also, what you see in the design is that animation starts from empty. So I want to set initial dream path end to zero. Alright, and then just create an image view and set a set dimensions to any I want and set SRC SRC compat for backwards compatibility. And just to trigger my animation uh, click listener with the animate method. And here's how you start animated vector drawable animation. Let's check uh, for animated vector drawable compat and uh, just animated vector drawable is uh, whether you have a pre lollipop or lollipop or both. And yeah, let's try. And I just know that the image view is on top left, so I'm just gonna click here. And yeah, let's compare to the design. It's get glitchy because I'm recording the screen and the animation looks glitchy, but uh, but I think uh, the duration is just like in the original and yeah, and here's how you can implement this cool uh, animation. You can get the source code in the description and click like if you liked it, subscribe to get more stuff from me and take care.